Hi, my name is Randy Siebold, Vice President for Education at Weimar Center for Health and Education and also Dean of Weimar College and I'm happy to have with me Dr. George Jackson. Good uh, to be here. Yeah, Chair of the Health Sciences Department and mm -hmm. uh, teaching biology and working with students. You keep busy at Weimar College. Always something to do. That's right. <laughs> Good. So uh, I want to help people get to know you a little bit. Now, before you came to Weimar, there was some census of marine life or Canada. What was going right. on with that? I was, I had a position at the University of Tasmania as a senior lecturer there. Mm -hmm. uh, but for two years, I'd actually spent, even I stayed employed at my position, but was based in Canada. And while in Canada, I was the senior scientist of one of the 14 field project, projects of the census of marine life. Uh, so for two years we were in Canada, although Australians living in Canada. Yeah. So in, uh, as a researcher, what kind of things were you involved with? Uh, I, I'd spent. I'm a marine biologist, and my undergraduate and postgraduate degree were, were taken in Australia, and I was spending. So uh, you, time you need there. to be by the water. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first time in <laughs> 30 years I haven't lived by the ocean. But so that was my career there, and then in Canada I moved to oversee a, a, a large fish tracking program along the west coast of North America mm. uh, as part of this larger 10-year census of marine life that uh, was taking place. So before we get into too much detail on that, you're actually from this area. Yes, I uh, was born in California. I uh, went to school probably 40 miles away from here. Uh, and, and went to Academy in the Pacific Northwest and then I went to Australia and never came back for college. I went to Australia for college, uh, so this American in college uh, over there uh, and never came back for 30 years or something. Mm. Incredible. Yeah, and, and the Lord just led in incredible ways in your life uh, in, in uh, yeah. Australia and then, mm -hmm. and then Canada. Uh, how about some of these uh, Projects. I mean, as I've looked through your uh, Vita, your resume with the unpacked version that has all of your. This one's just a short one. It only is three pages. The other one, I think, could be bound, and, and, yes. and it actually doesn't have the papers in them. That's just the citation for them. Yeah, you well, that, you did a lot of writing. That was yeah. That was my passion. Was doing research, uh, writing scientific publications. I had. I was in a postgraduate institute at the University okay. of Tasmania. Plus, I had postdoced a lot in New Zealand and in uh, various places in Australia. So I had largely a research career, doing teaching and a lot of postgraduate supervision. Had some wonderful students doing projects in Antarctica and different places. So how did your how did your career uh, take you to Washington D.C.? Yeah, that was a story. <laughs> when I was based in in Canada as the senior scientist of this program, you know, once in a career opportunity, a large West Coast program of tracking big, just big science. It was a big mm -hmm. science project. Part of that involved going to these media meetings at various places, South Pacific, sometimes in Europe, uh, North America, and we were needing to uh, uh, get support for that project mm -hmm. from and the U.S. government. The U.S. government. So I ended up at a in Washington D.C. Yeah, presenting uh, our program, and that just kind of really blew me away because it was like a, a, a congressman there and science leaders, and you know you got to think like, what am I doing here? <laughs> My job is in Tasmania. Here I am halfway around the world. Find myself in Washington D.C. You know I kind of. You know, boy, for career-wise, I, I had arrived. Yes, you know, was it. I, this is amazing. Uh, it was quite an and, experience. And, and yeah. you, you, you mean you talk, uh, we've, we've talked many times about this, you're flying all around the world, spending other people's sure. money, spending, you know, nights in plush hotels. Sure. and Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It, that was... it was a good job. <laughs> and it was a great job. I mean, I had a great job. It was... Uh, uh, and it was at the level of, of large science, you know, managing a large, the, writing this, the, Multi the science plan. Multi-million dollar projects. $365 million, the whole census of marine life. 2,000 scientists, 80 countries. We were one of 14 major field projects all mm -hmm. around the world, deep mm -hmm. sea, different areas. And it, it was, yeah, it was, it was quite... Uh, so, Quite an experience. And, and now you're at Weimar College. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, uh, and, and how yeah, did. Yeah, you're right. I am. <laughs> I did pinch yourself. You can't believe you're still here. So, what, how did the Lord 
work on your heart to move you there. I mean, this is the worldly pinnacle right. of, of yeah. everything you've been dreaming about. Sure, and then the Lord pulls you out of it. Yeah. Well, the, the, the whole thing with Weimar and the Amazing Facts joining Weimar, mm -hmm. I knew a little bit about mm -hmm. Weimar because I had kids that were growing up getting to that sort of an age. And somehow it, it struck me that there was something going on here that, and it kind of struck me, well, maybe I could do something. And uh, that was a struggle because I, 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 I then got in contact. At that time, it was amazing facts. Things were changing. Mm -hmm. And uh, things kind of happened fairly quickly after that. We had the first summit meeting when Ted Wilson came and different people came and talked about this vision of Weimar. And I thought, wow. And, you know, Randy, you get to the point where sometimes you have to ask, well, what am I doing anyway? You know, you, you, you do all this, you publish these papers, you, get, you grant money. I mean, the, the last thing was a $45 million grant. I was, I was involved in this. This larger project was $45 million. And, it, you know, it was, you know, lots of money to spend on research, doing exciting things. And despite all that, you come to the point sometime to think, well, what am I doing anyway? Why am I here? And that realization kind of hits you. And, and then you're mixing with the world and people are drinking and all this is going on in worldly conferences. And, and you think, you know, I, I'm not really comfortable here. And mm -hmm. it, that sort of starts working in the back of your mind, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, those sort of things were kind of there. You kind of push them aside. Uh, but you realize maybe there's something more I could be doing, despite all that you're doing that the yeah, world would yeah. see as, wow, you know, yeah, yeah. I guess. And, and now you clearly have a passion for helping students get to Weimar College. I mean, yeah. this, you know, they have your cell phone number. That's right. And call you up, and mm -hmm. I'm interested, and I've heard about Texting this. Me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. the email, all the electronic right. stuff's going on. It, yeah. Well, I believe in it. I mean, I believe in it, and I see what's happening here. My own daughter attends here. Mm -hmm. My family, mm -hmm. we live on campus. We're all part of it. And, and I'm passionate to recruit those students that have the same vision. That vision. So what is, that, what's, what is it about that vision that's compelling to you? I think it's just the, the practical Christianity. You know, one thing that I've come to, to appreciate is, is what true education is. Mm. I mean, it was kind of in my mind, but before I met you and, and it, it got more articulated, I realized that, you know, all the stuff my career was involved with, with the science and the teaching and the, 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 all the, the scientific equipment, you know, that's probably, I've come to realization, that's probably way less than 10% of real education. Hmm. And I just don't think, and I'm, I mean, I'm talking to yeah, someone no, who knows no, all no, about this, right? right? I, I just don't think we have any idea what real education is. Hmm. We have completely missed the mark. And the real education is seeing these kids singing before they go out on their literature evangelism. That's amazing. Uh, I was talking on the phone to someone in Canada that was interested in coming. I'm saying, hey, you know, the kids are singing in the, they're singing over in the, in the lobby. You know, you're not going to get that at McGill <laughs> University. Said, yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Things are different here. So it's hard to put into words. The, mm. the, the spiritual, you know, when I first walked on campus, and I was struggling with leaving my career as an international biologist. There was something that kept ringing in my words, and they were the, when I walked on campus. It was the words of Jacob, and those words that he said when he was sleeping with that rock under his head, and uh, and he saw that vision, uh, mm -hmm. and he said, "Surely the Lord is in in this place." And later on, he said, "This uh, this is none other than." the house of God in the gate of heaven or something like that. And I don't know, those words were kind of ringing through my ears. There's something here that you can't see in the buildings and so forth because it's not there in the buildings. It's the spiritual atmosphere of this place that I've heard other people mention it mm -hmm. and you, you can't put it into words. Walking on campus and sensing it and meeting the, the presence people. of God and God was going to do great things here. And you know, my job is kind of mentoring students. I mean, I mean really? You know, sometimes I wonder who's mentoring who. The mm. students we have here, when I think of myself as a young person, and I see the young people here, and I'm just, wow, you know, this is just, these are an amazing group. I mean, I these understand. are none other than, I mean, any other, I've never seen a group of students like this at a college. No. We have an amazing bunch of kids, and they're just inspirational. And that's, that everything else is insignificant in related in relation to working with these kids. So you spent some time last year and uh, some this year working with the farm and working side by side with the students. What, what kind of experience is that? That was a great memory, yeah. You know, 
we would be pruning the trees and I'd get out of the office in the fresh air. The, you know, some of them were my biology students, and so I'd be throwing out questions about DNA, and they'd be struggling <laughs> over that and asking them, you know, quiz questions while we're working. And, and yeah, we, you really, we really are you're down to the nitty-gritty, sort of heart-to-heart -heart with the students there on the farm in the beautiful California sunshine doing stuff with the grapes or whatever it is. And that was, yeah, this, that's, that created some great memories for the students. Pretty good experiences. I, you, you mentioned also one of the experiences I've ever heard you mention before is uh, having a chance to work with donors and with students right. and, and they struggle because, you know, we, and we've talked about this before, we never want any student to not come to Weimar because of finances. They, we don't Absolutely want that right. to be a barrier. Um, That's right. We, we, we understand that it's going to take hard work to do that. But through some of that hard work, you've seen some of these victory experiences. You want to share one of those Randy, with us? Randy, we probably had 30% of our students that said, I don't know what to do. I, this is probably three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. I don't know what to do. I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we talked to them. We worked with them. We talked about strategies because, you know, we, we're not, sure. we don't have access to sure. loans. We went and talked to the business office. And, and I don't know all the details, but I don't think there's one left that isn't, hasn't worked things out that wanted to come back. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, as I've talked to you before, there's like, there's one thing that really stands out in my mind, and that is, you know, that's talking to congressmen, going to D.C., traveling the world, and that was one phone call I had with a, with a potential student that had no money. You know, parents were in self-supporting work. She had no money. Uh, my wife was in the office that morning. She came to my office and said, look at this, and there was two checks for $5,000 just for this student. Just put them on her bill. So I had the privilege of phoning the student and saying, I got some news, you know, that you might be interested in. I've got like $5,000 for your account. And I just wish you could have heard the praise God and the squealing. And it was just an amazing phone call. I found out later she was in the ladies' department store and the ladies were looking at her saying, what's the good news? Sitting on the floor talking to Dr. Jackson in a, in a clothing store. And kind of everybody's kind of looking at her because she's just she's... excited. She's squealing. And, and that event, now, I don't know why, but that one is just stands out uh, as the mo one of the most amazing things I had experienced apart from all the international science and just everything else just It just pales. It pales. It pales. It, it was just an amazing experience. Here's a student desperately wanting to come here, a spiritual young lady with no money, and suddenly here was her ticket to come to Weimar. It was, it was, just, it was a great experience. It really was. Well, I know the students deeply appreciate your ministry on campus, uh, uh, if not your tests, but uh, yeah. at least they were okay on, yeah. the, on the exam. They've gone through it. <laughs> That's good. Yesterday, they were all right. All right, <laughs> and and we're in test week here. And I, anyway, I appreciate your ministry. I'm uh, happy to be here, and the students appreciate it. Right, well, we appreciate what you're doing for us as well. And thank you for spending time with us today. Uh, God bless. Just getting to know George Jackson a little bit. Thanks so much.